Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to focus on the trick on how to label the angles of a unit circle in radian. As you can see on this unit circle that we have here, I already have labeled the angles in degree. Now we're going to label the angles here in terms of radian. So I'll give you the trick on how to do that. First, we're going to focus on half of the circle. So we're going to uh, focus on that um, upper part right there. As you can see here, this is divided by 30. So we start with 30. So 30 plus 30 is 60, plus 30 is 90, plus 30 is 120, plus 30 is 150, plus 30 is 180. So if we are going to count them, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So there's going to be 6 total. So what are we going to do is, this is the first one, so I'm going to label this as 1 pi over 6. So this is 1 out of 6. So that would be 1 pi over 6. So that's the first one out of the 6. So then I go ahead and move on to the 60. Again, we're, we're looking for the intervals of 30. So this next one right here would be 2 pi over 6. So it's the, that's the second out of 6. This would be um, 3 pi over 6. This would be 4 pi over 6. This is 5 pi over 6. And then this is 6 pi over 6. And then this one right here would be, again, it's an inter interval of 30. So 180 would be 210. So this is 7 pi over 6. This is 8 pi over 6. This is going to be um, 9 pi over 6. This is, again, the interval is by 30. 270 plus 30 is 300. So this would be 10 pi over 6. And this one right here is 11 pi over 6. And this one right here would be 12 pi over 6. Now, we go back and simplify them. So there are some of, some of them here actually can be simplified. So let's start with this. We can simplify that. But this one can be simplified. 2 pi over 6 can be simplified as pi over 3. So reduce it to lowest term. 2 pi over 6. So this can be rewritten as... Um, so I'm going to erase this. This would come out pi over... 3. So I reduced it. So that's pi over 3. And this one right here can be reduced. This is divisible by 3. So there's 1, 3 in 3, and there's 2, 3 in 6. So we can rewrite this as 1 pi over 2. So I can change this to uh, pi over 2. So instead of 3 pi over 6, because we're reducing it. So this is pi over 2. This one can also be reduced. This is divisible by 2, and this becomes 2 pi over 3. So I'm just going to um, change this. So this would be 2 pi over 3. This one cannot be reduced, so we keep this. This one can be reduced. This is divisible by 6. So pretty much this side right here will become 6 pi over 6. is actually just pi, so we're reducing it. The 7 pi over 6 cannot be reduced, but then this 8 pi over 6, 8 and 6 are divisible by 2, and that should become 4 pi over 3. So I'm just going to change this. I'm reducing it to lowest term. So this is 4 pi over 3. And then this one right here is also divisible by 3. So this is going to be 3 pi over 2, because there's 3 th there's three threes in nine and there's two threes in six. So this becomes three pi over two. So that's three pi over two. And then 10 pi over six divisible by um, two. So then this becomes five pi over three. So I'm just going to change this as um, five pi over three. So this is five pi over three. And then this one right here, 11 pi over 6, we cannot reduce this, so we keep that as 11 pi over 6. Now let's move on to the 45. So let's have the interval of 45. So as you can see, we cover this again. So as you can see here, there are um, interval of 45 would be 1. 45 plus 45 is 90. And then 40, 90 plus 45 is 135. 135 plus 45 is 180. So there's pretty much 1. 2, 3, and 4. So it's out of 4. So which means that this 45 is actually 1 pi over 4. 
and then this is 2 pi over 4. This one right here is 3 pi over 4. This is uh, gonna be 4 pi over 4. And we continue the rest of them here. So this one right here is 5 pi over 4. And then this is 6 pi over 4. And then this one right here is 7 pi over 4. Now we go back and uh, reduce them to lowest term. So this is good. This one right here can be reduced to 2 pi over 4. It's actually divisible by 2. So that becomes 1 over 2 pi. So we, we don't have to write that because that's already covered when we did the uh, interval of 30. And then we move on to this third pi, 3 pi over 4. So that's good. We don't have to reduce it. This one right here, 4 pi over 4, is actually pi. So we don't have to... Um, write that. It's already covered under the uh, interval of 30. And then this one right here would be 5 pi over 4. We cannot reduce this, so we keep it. And then this one right here is 6 pi over 4. Let's see if that is 3 over 2. Remember, this one is divisible by 2. So there's 3 2s in 6, and there are 2 2s in um, 4. So that's how we got that. 3 pi over 2 is the reduced version for 6 pi over 4. So we don't have to um, write that. And then for um, 7 pi over 4, so that's good. We don't have to reduce it because it's already in reduced form. And then this 12 pi over 6 can still be reduced. And then remember that there's uh, 12 divided by 6 is 2. So pretty much this can be written as 2 pi. So I can go ahead and write this as 2 pi right here. So that's the trick on how to label the um, unit circle in terms of radian. So the inner um, angle that we have here is in degrees and then the outer that we have here is in radian. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!